Friends, welcome to PySpark and Databricks video tutorials. In this ongoing real-time scenario based interview questions and real-time scenarios covering. So in this video, I'm going to cover one of the scenario which you can expect and any kind of files in future or maybe uh, if source is machine learning, if source is maybe mission generated data, if source is un mainly unstructured data file. So today scenario is how to handle or how to read varying number of columns data file. So this is one of the scenario like different dynamic columns or you can say varying column or you can say dynamic number of columns. Dynamic number of columns. So when it comes to uh, when your source is machine learning, machines generating some data or when source is some semi structures unstructured mainly, unstructured data files, they will give you delimiter, but your number of columns, number of data, it won't match. Okay, so that is variable or you can say dynamic number of columns, variable number of columns data. How to achieve that? Consider uh, you are getting your data file like ID, name, location. And uh, even sometimes you will get a, a email ID, email ID, phone number or some other information like a, which you can consider any any other information consider so sometimes you will get only id and name id and name which is one and uh, name okay and sometimes you will some records you will get with a uh, id name location id name location like this even some records you will get with a uh, ID, name, location, then email ID, okay, then phone number. So this is okay. But what happened if you're not getting a header? Some source system, they won't send you headers. Let's look at this example and work in real time scenario. Like I'll get a, another record. Okay, like these kind of records. If you have a header, that's okay. But if you don't have a header, how to handle this? Okay. How to handle variable number of columns? Columns data file. In PySpark data. So what I'll do, I'll create a data file. FS put scenarios, dynamic columns, dot CSV. Okay, and if, if we have a proper header, that's okay. Your CSV file will read the data, the remaining data, it will treat as nulls. If you have a proper header, I will create a data frame. So spark dot read dot CSV and the header is there. Then I'll mention header equal to true. This is. So you see other columns which does not have a data, simply it is treating as a null. This scenario is okay. But problem is if some source system, they won't send you headers. They won't send you headers, but they will give you the uh, sequence like a uh, first thing you will get ID, second you will get this, but header they won't give you. Like, I'll create another file without header. Without columns. Yes, I'm going to create a same data file without header. Like this. Now, now if you read this file, because header is not there. Header is not there. So spark.read.csv 
and uh, even header is not there just i will create a data frame and when you display if you observe carefully it will treat only two colors because the first record it is having only two records then it will treat as a two rows the remaining second record you see three rows third record is having a five rows but second third is having a three rows but those it is ignoring you see this first two columns it is considering always depends on first row always depends on first row then how to handle these kind of scenarios how to handle these kind of scenarios so don't use a csv in this scenario don't use csv in this scenario what do you need to do you need to read as text file what will happen when you read as text file it will read as a single column but all data will be there you see this entire data is available entire data is available now what i can do when you use a text file it will it will create a data frame as a single column then on top of that what you can do you can use a split function you can use split function so you can create a new column you can create a new column on top of this and you can create new column using split function let's apply that so df i'm going to create a new column which is existing column is value you see this value then i'll create new column using with the column which is splittable data splittable column so what i'll do i'll use a function the function is split function and there's a function called split function okay split split is a function which you can use a column name the column name is value and delimiter is comma and then again i can create alias name so what will happen whenever you create this it will create a new column it will create a new column that new column is will be having a python list so we need to import the split function from functions import split now you see it is converted and created as a python list whenever you use a split function it return type will be always a list so what i can do i don't need this column so i can drop this so drop now i'm having only one column that is splitable column which will be having a data which will be having data then dynamically i can create a new columns but dynamically when you want to create a new column which you should know the length of this which you should know the length of this so what i can do on top of this data frame i can find the first length so how to find the length of this so consider here one two three four five columns are there so i need a maximum columns are five maximum columns are five then how to find that how to find that so what we can do we can use size function on this column so that column is splitable column okay then it will give you size of each column so we need to import that function from pyspark dot sql dot functions import size now you see even i will show you both in a side by side which you will get a more clarity and i will use a, it's a column should be in double quotes or single quotes and now even you can use a truncate files so here you see one two three four five count is five so here is a maximum is we need to create a five columns so dynamically if three columns create a three columns four columns create a four columns then how to achieve that how to achieve that you can take this maximum value from this you can take max value from this so size of this column then you can take max value from this okay so max value which i will use a collect then 
So when you go with the max value, when you go with max value, now you see five, which we can go with the index, retrieving that index value. This is. Now I can use a for loop and I'll read each range of this. So range, when I go with this, what will happen? It will generate zero to four index. Zero to four index is nothing but five looping, five looping. So in this data frame, I'll create a new column inside this for loop, which is df1, df1 dot with the column, then column concatenating, Existing fun because concatenation will work with the same data type. So actually, this is index value integer. We will use a convert into string column. Then it will create dynamically new column. New column and the values also we need. Values also we need. So that values which we are we are getting from this splitable call, then index index is i then after that you can verify this data frame will be having dynamically all columns but it is happened it is created of five columns column one column zero one two three four like this even you can see the perfectly all the data even first row it is having only two when second row it is having three, even third row it is having a five, even fourth row it is having only three. Now you can drop that column, which is not required. Okay. Final data frame, which you can drop. Select so Now, here it is the result. You see this. So this way, which we can go for handling variable number of columns, or you can say dynamic number of columns. Why? Because whenever you use a CSV, whenever you use a CSV default, it will treat as a first record. If you don't have a header, first record is having one and two values. So it will create only two columns. It will create only two columns. If you don't have a header, if you don't have a header. So this way, which we can achieve, this way, which we can achieve this. So if you use a CSV, what will happen? It will create only two columns because it is having two columns. That is how to handle variable number of columns data file. Or you can say, if you are getting a, without header and variable number of columns, which you can handle this way. What we did, we read as a text API, which is text API. And then after that, we split the data. After that, we split the data. Whenever you use a split, it will create a Python list at each record, but we need to get the maximum value. So we use the size function to get a maximum value to generate a number of columns dynamically. So here, I'll generate a number of columns dynamically, and that column will be adding it dynamically, then we'll get all columns like this. Even if you have a variable number of maybe 20 columns or 30 columns, it doesn't matter. It will find the maximum, then it will generate a columns dynamically. So this way, which we can handle a variable number of columns data. And this notebook anyway will be available in my GitHub. So that GitHub link will be available in the same video description. So this is my GitHub account, which you can find uh, real time scenarios. There you can find this note. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. See you in another video. Thank you. Very much.